Wow, you're photogenic. I must confess, nature didn't do much justice to you at all. But it's okay, I think I can work with what I'm looking at right now. Uh, could you do a 360 for me, please? Let me see what you're working with behind. I want to see what you have going on behind you. Are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you, silly. Do a 360 for me. Oh my God, why wasn't I paired with a more reasonable and sensible person? You disgust me. You have a loud mouth. Interesting. Turn around for me, please. Oh my God. If this wasn't for business, this your annoying and irritating attitude would have ruined and wrecked everything. I swear to God. <laughs> There's no need to swear. All you need to do is turn around. I want to see you're behind. Because I love my women thick. Who raised you? My mom. Oh my God. She's beautiful. And she's thick. So could you turn around for me? Please. Hello. Oh. My new list on this is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, listen. That show is put together by the World uh, Empowerment Franchise oh. for couples. Nice. And um, it's meant for couples. And the couple who wins the show goes home with a sum of one million US dollar each. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, during the show, you're expected to live your normal life. Yeah? Okay. I exceptionally chose both of you because I think uh, you will do well. Hmm? <laughs> so, don't disappoint me. Of course. Of course. <laughs> my guest will whisper us. <laughs> let's go. Maybe. Let's go get don't married. Don't touch me. Come on. Don't be shy. All right, let's go. Just go in front. It's, it's not a lot, but I can I can manage this. Oh my God, this house is big and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's obvious I'm going to have a splendid time here. I can feel it. Wow. Yeah. It's not bad. I like. Yeah, now listen. That's where you are going to live as a couple for the next 90 days. Oh. Yeah. You are expected to live your normal life. But don't forget, the goal is to secure the grant and the money. Now, after we both of you can get a divorce. Yeah, somebody is forcing any of you to marry each other. Oh, no, of course not. I can't wait to divorce this jack of a man. I can't imagine myself living right next to this person all the days of my life. <laughs> it's going to be hell. <laughs> Honey, I know you were wishing that you found the one, but sadly, I am not the one for you. Okay, I have a beautiful girlfriend that I can't wait to go back to. <laughs> and no, who, it's okay. who cares? <laughs> who asked you? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I see you both have a life to get back to. Okay? In as much as you are expected to live your normal life. But while you're here, don't forget, there are supervisors. And when they're in town, they come for examination. Okay? So you have to be of good behavior. So okay. how do you know when they're going to come around? Are we allowed to? But okay. they can come on announced. The more reason both of you need to bond genuinely. Are we together? <laughs> Come on, let me show you around. Is it possible to change partners, Mr. Dixon? I beg your pardon. This is the best partner you ever see. <sighs> this place is gorgeous. Hello, wifey. Can you kindly go into the kitchen and make me something delicious to eat? Your lovely wedded husband is starving. <laughs> We've barely made it into this 90 days journey. And you're making me regret my decision of coming into the show with you. Hey, hey, hey. We are legally married, which means you owe me marital duties, one of which is to make me good meals as culture demands. <laughs> Brother, you go speak English, you go tired. 
if you're waiting for me to go into that kitchen to cook for you, then get ready to die of starvation. What kind of a wife are you? You have no shame. So you can't cook for me. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to go to bed hungry. I hope you're happy. Perfect plan. Suits you. You should. And let me remind you, everything in here is strictly business. Formalities only exist when the supervisors are around. <laughs> and <laughs> who made that rule? I did. Look, I need a very long, warm bath because it's been a long and hard day with you by my side. It's been disgusting because oh. you are annoying, you are irritating, you're all of it. That, oh my God. That is such a beautiful compliment. <sighs> Accept them. <laughs> oh, babe, you called at the right time. It's been one hell of a day for me. The guy I was paired with is an ass. He's silly. He's uh, disgusting. Uh, he's annoying. He's irritating. Uh, who does this one, babe? Babe, oh my God. It's, look, I thank God you called. I need to tell you how my day went. This huh? guy is annoying. Well, he you're does, not cook for me. He doesn't look the way hey, he hey, sounds, babe. To your he's like annoying. That. Listen to me. I swear. We have 90 days here. I've told Mr. Okay. Dixon I want to leave, but hey, he won't let me go. <laughs> what is it? Girl, I've been trying to call June since yesterday. She's not taking my calls. She has gone for the couple show already. Really? Mm-hmm. Relax, okay? I think maybe they're not allowing them to pick up your calls for now, but don't worry. When she's free and have the time, she'll call us. Okay? Wait. Okay. So finally, June accepted this offer. <laughs> Girl, as we speak right now, she's in the house with a spouse. <laughs> Erotic husband indeed. I doubt if June can cope with such a deal. And who told you she cannot deal with that? Who told you? Girlfriend, right now we're talking about a deal worth millions of dollars. As for me, huh? I will damn the tone and bear the crown, trust me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I presume you talked her into this. <laughs> oh, girl, please, I'm, I'm actually very innocent, okay? Do not even lay that to me. Don't even add me to that stress, okay? I'm innocent. Well, let's see how it goes. Let's just pray that they should win and come back with the money. Of course, that's very paramount. Don't worry. I think I'll have to go see her tomorrow. Or maybe next tomorrow. My regards to her. And please do tell her that work wouldn't let me come. But I'll make out time to come and see her. That's fine. I would definitely extend your regards. Okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I'm so excited. Trust me. <laughs> I am. But anyways. <laughs> let's no see. Okay, fine. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's just say. Hello. Hello, hi. Gorgeous. Good day. Hi. Good day. Uh, good day. I must say you're stunning. Thank I'm, you. Speaking, I'm single and ready to mingle. What? <laughs> Have a seat. Thank you. Yeah, please sit. Who are you here to see? Uh, okay, I'm so sorry. I came to see my friend June. Is she in? June? No, yeah. she stepped out, but she'll be back shortly. Oh, okay. Can I wait for her here, please? Of course, of course. Of course. Feel free. Um, would, you, would you want anything? Thank you. I'm good. Oh, okay. Would you like to offer her the house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Please, um, do, do, you, do you want a drink or anything? I'm, I'm very fine. <laughs> Thank All right, you. So just watch as I beat. Come this on, one. I've been beating you now. Yeah, <laughs> quiet. Let me flog you in front of the lady. Okay, let's see. Right, you know what? Let's see, let's let see. Just, let me mess you up. Ah, what's happening? You didn't shuffle this thing well. But you just shuffled now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh June, you're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Papa. How long have you been here for? 
not so long to get bored. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, especially with these guys. This one here. Which one? It's so cool, this, this particular one. <laughs> what about me? Of course, you too. <laughs> Off tomorrow. Thank you. Let's go. Off. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. You could at least say thank you for keeping your friend company. You too, side eye. Some people are just so stiff, ungrateful. Let, let's get back to the game. I need, I need to beat you. Yeah, just no, you I know they cheat now. Oga, yeah. play game. No, they look my game. Play. I don't want to check that time. Oga, go, go markets market now. now. You know, if you get card, you check. Go market first. Nice. Babe, like really? Like really? Really? What have I done? You just met these guys and you're sitting and smiling and shining teeth with them, throwing yourself at them. You know them before. Oh, okay, I think I've lost my boundary. I'm really sorry about that. But that guy is actually cool. They're, they're cool. So what's the problem? Oh, please. What can be cool? What cool can come out of that nasty boy, Mike? Which of them? Yo, cool guy, not boring guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get their names. My bad. Perfect. You don't need to know their names because they're of no use to you. Hey, baby girl, calm down. What's the problem? I don't understand. <laughs> what's really happening? Because I think right now I'm beginning to get lost. Those guys are actually very cool. He's such a prince charming. Didn't you see his body build? Heal, please. Heal, please. Me. Wow. But, oh my god, that's, that's your kind of spec now. Why, why is it so hard for you to relate with them? What, what's happening? Please, please, and please. He's not my spec. Can never be my spec. I reject it. Cheers. <sighs> okay. So, which of them is your husband, if I may ask? Um, Frank, I beg you in God's name, don't call him that. Please. Whatever. Which of them? Your Prince Charming. Mike! <laughs> Babe! Congratulations. Shake me. Shake me now. Congratulations. Mike. Because I said it. Because that guy is just so cute. Listen, as far as this deal is concerned, you have found a husband. You've seen, you've seen your man. Just calm down. Just, re just relax. Breathe in and breathe out. In God's name. Look, I'm just trying to tolerate that guy and his nasty attitude because of the show or because of his providers. That's just it. Else, I can't deal with a man like that. He's annoying. You have to know how to deal. You have to rehearse. Start rehearsing. You have to know how to deal. Because the last time I... Let me, let me just even remind you. This deal is a $1 million kind of deal. We must not lose so. Ah. Do not let the devil use you, please. Amen. Don't let the devil walk. Thank you, accurate timekeeper, accurate reminder. That's Thank my name. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. Okay. I'm here. That's my name. Can I breathe now? You can breathe now, ah. after you've cooperated. Though. What did you cook? I'm actually very hungry. My girl, there's no food in the house, no cooked food in the house. But now we have a chef in the house. You can go to the kitchen and exhibit your skills. You know you're good at that. I should go and exhibit my skills yes. in, your, in your husband's kitchen. Please, ma, please, stop it. Please, stop, it. stop it. Stop it. I beg, I beg. Uh -uh. You can go downstairs and have fun in the kitchen. You know I hate to cook, so go have fun. In your husband's house. Franca. Ma, please, stop. Stop it. Oh my goodness, this girl is just so hey, funny. Trust me. That my case. That boy is so annoying. I don't even know why God created him. He's hot, he forgets. Hot, hot and annoying. Hot his and handsome. His attitude is nasty. His mouth is nasty. Like, For you? He's horrible. Horrible. But he was nice to me. That's how you open your You mind. better calm down. Shining calm smiling. down. You're from year to year. <laughs> Never see Fireboy before. You see Fireboy, you talk.
Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow. I got you something light. Oh. Um. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you like it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't need to stress yourself. And to have, you know. <laughs> but thanks. This is the first time somebody's um, making me food in this house. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Uh, just go ahead, okay? Have a taste and then not conclude yet until you taste it. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm you sure you like it. Yeah, you should teach your friend if you want to about this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Go ahead. Bye. Okay. I'll let you know. Um, if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Wow. Hmm. Franka, this jello fries is really tasty. There's something about it. I'm definitely having another plate after this one. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm glad you like it. I do. Hmm. Very tasty. Come to think of it. So that means Mike is actually correct. Mike earlier told me today that he enjoyed the food even when he hadn't tasted. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? You did what? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that I gave Mike some food earlier today. Why would you do that? Why? Why are you sending him food? Why? Even calm down. Why are you sending him No, no, no. Tell me. Whose side are you on? You know how I feel about that guy. Now you're serving him food. I haven't done anything bad. Why are you sounding this way? You know, it's, it's fine. You know what? Come and be going. You've overstayed your welcome. Are you Please. asking me to leave? Yes, leave. Because I don't know what next you'll serve him and who else you'll be serving. What, what was the meaning of that? Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Sorry doesn't count. Please leave. You have to leave. I'm sorry now. No, you, you want to use that to push him so you don't give me shit. Is that what you're trying to do? Wish shit? No, if I'll give so her the whole give, pot so now. Don't give me my cut. Shh. I beg, beg, calm down. Relax. That, 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 my food. For what? I'm sorry. Can we just eat? I beg, I beg. Eat, please. And you gave him, he took oh. Let's chop, I'm sorry. It's not intentional. Let's chop. I'm not going nowhere. We die here. Oh, <laughs> Smile. I don't leave me. Forgive her and the whole pot now. Mm. Oh, okay. Hello, baby. Hey, babe. You know I miss you so much. When are you coming to see me? I miss you more. I miss you more, baby. That's a lie. If you missed me, you should be here cuddling me to sleep. Come on, I miss you. You know what? I, I've been busy, all right? I will come and see you um, next weekend. All right, fine. I hope you remember. I will. I hope um, that guy is not disturbing you. He dare not. Not at all. If he tries it, I'll give him what he deserves. <laughs> I trust you, my baby. No, that's why I, I accepted you to go for this game. Because I know nothing will go wrong. Of course, babe. Nothing will ever go wrong at all. Mm, mm, mm. I get it. So, um, what will you keep for me when I come? I'll keep my beautiful self for you and my love for you. <laughs> Just bring yourself here. <laughs> That's sweet. All right, no problem. Take care of yourself, all right? I miss you. All right, baby. All right, bye. I love you. Love you. <laughs> and my, and my sugar will be there too. You guys like each other so much. Yeah. But what's up? Are you really serious with that game? Mm -hmm. For real? Yeah, for real. For real. So for what real. happened to you? Make that one rest first, I beg. Guys, 
My brother, ah. play this game now. Nah. You can't win. And you're already looking emaciated. So <laughs> Baby, you're asking too many questions. Please, let's sit. <clears throat> hey, sit here. I don't, I don't want you contacting any negative energy. <sighs> Guess what? I got you, fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> A woman that knows how to cook. <laughs> You're the real definition of a wife material that I can vouch with my full chest. <laughs> Not like this lazy foul that I'm living with. Oh, that's so funny coming from a man that has the kind of taste for a girlfriend. Well, By the you, time I'm I, done with you, you'll quit the show. What are you talking about? Have you seen my girl? Oh, please, I can see her right there. My girl is thick. She looks She's like the fine. food. She's, She's great loaded. for you. Not like you. Very slim thing that I don't know. She's not even loaded. Baby, look at you now. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is a real African queen. Ah, oh, gosh. Hey, don't mind that. Ignore her, baby. Look for things. But since you guys are sworn enemies, what's going on? Baby, just ignore that phone, okay? I'm so happy that you're here. That's the most important thing. This is when you guys are acting like this. I thought we need the money. Oh, I see. No, we need the money. Are you joking? Come on now, don't play. I'm going to win the money. And when I do, I need to divorce our ass so we can start a real life together. I can't wait. Ah! <laughs> I miss you. Don't worry, I got you. Right? Mm -hmm. I know you do. I know you're looking too sexy, by the way. Ah, thank you. <laughs> anyway, just it's giving. So oh. I, I, I think I should stay over the weekend so I can make you good food. I life, told you that you're a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Blushing. But maybe after I eat this food, I can ah. eat this other food right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want other food? Ah, ah. Madam, what are you still doing in my kitchen? Are you not done cooking the poison you've been cooking for the past hours? As you can see, Oh, I can see you've been in here doing rubbish for ages and let me remind you that this kitchen and every provision in this house is for mike and i so you don't have a say or business in it auntie listen up i don't have strength to battle words with you oh and as far as my boyfriend is concerned i have a say in this house because he's involved in the deal so listen don't you ever come here to come and stress me again and I know you want to keep my baby with hunger, but your plan will not work. It won't work. Do I look like I care if your baby lives or not? I don't care. He can die of starvation or hunger. I don't care. Okay? Now, hurry up and finish whatever rubbish it is you're doing in this kitchen and carry yourself out of my kitchen. Because I need to use it. You must be joking. Look, I'm giving you one hour. What am I even saying? 20 minutes to finish up the poison and whatever it is you're doing here and carry your lazy self out of my kitchen. If I come back here and you're still here, you won't like what I'll do to you. Try me. Look at this one. Can you imagine the nonsense? The kitchen, you witch. Honestly, babe, I am not happy. I'm not happy at all. These people are trying to frustrate me in this house, but I will not let it happen because I'm ready for them. Um, baby. Calm down, okay? Um, what happened? Can you imagine that mannerless boy called Mike bringing in his mannerless girlfriend into this house to, to, to talk to me anyhow? Okay, um, just calm down. I will come and see you soon, all right? Please. I need you to come over, babe, please. So can you smile for me now, my queen? I'm smiling already. I am smiling. <laughs> I love you too.
Hey, hey. Uh, hey! <laughs> Young woman, just go down to that kitchen and clean up the mess you made there. Dude, are you insane? How dare you barge into my room without knocking? Can't you see I was busy? Please tell your dirty girlfriend to go clean up that kitchen she made a mess of. You will not speak to my girl. I like will that. speak to her <laughs> if she doesn't get up there and go clean up the kitchen. Baby, don't worry, I'm around you. You will handle who? You, of course. And who do you think you're talking to? <sighs> what did you leave that mess for? You! Since you can't cook, at least you can clean up the kitchen. Cook! Cook! Look, I can tolerate this, your mannerless and stupid boyfriend, but not you. Go downstairs, go to the kitchen, and clean up the mess you made! You think this is the gutters you're coming from? When you're done talking, you can leave. June, please, please get out of my room. Please. I will not leave. Look, look, see. If I come back to this room, and you've not cleaned up that kitchen, you both will like what I'll do to you. Try me. Get lost. Dirty things. Baby, just, just leave her. Don't mind that. It's good. Yes, it's can you imagine the audacity the stupid girl told Mike right in my face that she would handle me what would he say he had nothing to say the only thing he's good at is showing love all over the place he, with him and his ugly girlfriend. Frank, I, this is the problem I have with you. You don't know when to shut up. Open your mouth and say rubbish. I hate your sense of judgment. Me. Jealous of those fools. How can I be jealous of them? Well, please, what is there to be jealous about? What? Those two annoying fellows. Mannerless too. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. He said he was going to come this weekend and I can't wait. <laughs> you know me now. You know what I can do. <laughs> you go here and... Ah! <laughs> you don't start at me. I beg, what? I beg, avoid me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how are you? Oh, baby. <laughs> I miss you so much. I miss you too. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Thanks for coming. Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank Come on. You, yeah. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah, coming. Baby. I miss you. You're welcome. I miss you. Do you miss me? Of course, I'm yeah, please sit. Really. <laughs> oh my god, babe. Oh. Ah, yeah. You, wow. you don't know how excited I am to see you. <laughs> Me too, baby. <laughs> what are you eating? Nothing, I'm just snacking and waiting on you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm missing someone, baby. <laughs> baby, stop, stop, stop. Come on. I thought you said you missed me. Of course I did, but not for this. Then for what? I did it to miss my pretty face. I, I, I see you on video call every day. I've missed you now. Why are you stop now? Why are you doing this? Stop. Why you, 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 can't you just spend quality time with me? Wait, wait, okay, what, what, what are you trying to do now? I'm going with Why? I thought you said you missed me. You promised to spend the weekend with me. Babe, that's because I, I thought you, you were allowing me to have my way. I never knew you still have that your principle of marriage before before sex. Come on. So that's why you want to leave? Yeah, I want to leave. I, I think, wait, Josh, do you love me at all? Hmm. You, you know I do. I love you so much, but... Come on, 
you, I don't want to be a woman. You love me, but you want to walk out on me because I don't want to have sex with you. Well, how about spending quality time with me? You, you barely just got here. Now you want to dash out. You know what? Let, let me just go. Let me just go. Because I'm, I'm so much in the mood. I want to make it no matter. That, that, that shouldn't matter. You, we can spend quality time together. Talk. Ask me how I feel. Wasn't. Come on, babe. For how long, me. babe? For how long? I'm, I'm, I'm tired. You, 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 you can't be tired. Come on, don't be. Josh, don't do this. Go ahead. You're not going home. No, you're joking. Huh. I know you're not going anywhere. You're just acting on this issue. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I want Mike to come down and see us eating before we start. I don't understand. So I have to wait for Mike to come down before I eat my meal? Yes, because he does it all the time when his girlfriend is around. So it's my turn now. Oh, babe, please. I'm very hungry. Don't Let worry. He'll be down very soon. Don't worry. A few minutes, he'll come down. Babe. Yeah? Why do you want to make him feel jealous? No, it, it, it's not like I want to make him jealous because I know he's jealous already. But I just want him to have a full dose of it. Full dose. Sure. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I hope you've not started developing feelings for him. For who? That monkey. That manaless boy. How can I develop feelings for somebody like that? How? Babe, look, it's you that I love and you know it. It's just that I, I want to see the look on his face when he sees me and you eating and having a good time and chatting and laughing. Because he does it all the time with his girlfriend, so I want to pay him back. Don't worry, he'll be here very soon. <laughs> it's alright. No problem. Uh, just wait for him. When he comes, both of you should eat. Babe. Yeah? He'll... Come on now. You mean you don't want to wait? He'll be here wait very for soon. What? I've lost my appetite. No, no, nah, babe. No, 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 babe. You, you, wait. He'll be here very soon. A few minutes. He'll come, I, I promise. Babe. Waited a little bit because all oh, of me and a half big. Hello, young man. Who are you and what are you doing here? I huh? should be asking you that. Who are you and what are you doing here? What? Uh, Mike? Joan? What are you doing? Excuse me. Where are you going? Why to ask me such a stupid question? Huh? Well, if you must know, I am June's fiance. For your information, I have put a lot into this business, and your presence right here can ruin everything for me. Okay? What? what? They say they can live your normal life, so what is it? Yeah, yeah, family, friends, yes, but not a lover like you. Listen. The external supervisor in town and your presence here can ruin everything. Start living now. Okay? I want to inform you both in very simple language that the external supervisors are in the country. And you both know what that means, right? We don't know what it means. Rather, I don't know what it means. Can you please explain further? Where? It simply means that you both need to cut down on your visitors and concentrate on how to grab the money. Because these supervisors, they can come around any time for their examinations. Okay, um, can you give us some clues to the kind of questions they may possibly ask? I don't know for now. But my current advice is that you both need to concentrate on each other. Huh? Concentrate on how to get the money so that this business can come to a successful end. Okay? And uh, always remember, though you are allowed to live your normal life, let it sink into your head. The reason why you are here is for business, nothing more. All right, Mr. Dixon. Thank you for always having us in mind. But we're going to do our best to win this game and the money. <laughs> wow, 
That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, but please, do not fail me. Even if I win this money, how will I enjoy it? What joy will I get from all this? This is nice, interesting, that you already served my food. I'm just being nice, don't get used to it. It's not going to happen every day. Right. Yeah, I'm just doing it so the supervisors don't walk in on us and see how we actually live. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I want you to feed me. What's funny? Did I say something funny? I can see you're not hungry. If you can't feed yourself, then leave the food. <sighs> Look, be careful. There's CCTV in the house. <sighs> just so you know, just so you know, this is not leading to anywhere or anything. If one go, what is it going to lead to? You barely talk to me. I barely talk to you because you have nothing nice to say to me. Oh. This food is actually nice. Oh my god, there goes a compliment from him. Wow. That's a first. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did, did you just say thank you? For the first time in history, you said thank you. You complimented my cooking, so. Interesting. Ah. Mm -mm. Okay. My turn. No, what was that? Why are you being so local? Why do you want to feed me? I can Ladies feed myself. Enjoy being pampered. Just enjoy the moment. Oh, you, okay, you don't want you want you want spag instead? Okay. Come on, just enjoy the moment. <laughs> okay, I will enjoy the moment and thank you. Your shakara is too much. <laughs> eh? hmm, thank you. We speak too much English. <laughs> I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I can't believe you said thank you. This is the first time you're saying something nice to me. This is the first time you're being nice to me. This is the first time you're being nice to me. <laughs> well, now you're laughing. 
I'm funny. I'm a comedian. Hey, you're cracking me up. Ah, so you can right. actually make someone laugh and ah, not mad. Wow. wow. So many sides to you. Oh, maybe I should go on stage and uh, <laughs> do comedy. Yeah. You're cracking me up. And you're smiling. <laughs> like you're, you're giving us different sides to you. That's nice. Really oh, nice. Um... Yes, ma'am. Hopefully, we're expecting you people. But on what particular date? Mm, we haven't fixed a date yet. But all you need to do is to inform them that I and my team were showing up very soon. Yes, ma'am. I will do just that. All right. That'll be all for now. If anything comes up, I'll give you a call. Nice one, man. <laughs> oh, do have a nice day ahead of you. All right, you too. Enjoy yourself. Okay, bye. God, I pray my people compose themselves and be on good behavior that particular day. I really need this money. Dixon. Yes, ma'am. You can call your people now for the preliminary question. I hope they are ready for it. Yes, ma'am. They're much ready. And the exercise will be done separately. Once we are done with Mr. Mike, we will summon Mrs. June for her own. All right, sir. Should I allow them now? Yes, please. Because we have one hour, 30 minutes here. Because others are waiting for us. Okay, then. Let me. Excuse me. Mr. Mike, you are welcome for the first diary section of the first couple game show organized by the World Couple Empowerment Franchise. I must say that you are very lucky to be part of this very event. And um, without wasting much of your time, let's commence. Thank you. And thank you for giving me an opportunity to be a part of the show. Okay, without wasting much time, let's commence with the questions. Lady G, carry on. All right, Mr. Mike. Yes, How long have you known your wife, Mrs. June? Oh, we've known each other for about five years now. Um, Mr. Mike? Yes, ma'am? Please, can you drop your mobile phone? Pressing a mobile phone is not allowed for now. Sorry, ma'am. So you said you have known your wife for five years? That's correct. Any evidence to show for that? I mean, like a child? Not yet, but um, we had two miscarriages within the space of two years. Oh, so sorry about that. Yes, thank you. All right, so... Um, what is your wife's um, favorite glove-making position? Doggy style. <laughs> I think she likes doggy style. I think it's not an affirmative answer. Just go straight to the answer. Oh, my wife definitely likes doggy style. And what's your favorite love making position? Oh, oh, same thing. Doggy style. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah. The next question. What's your wife's favorite meal at night? Rice. Rice? Yeah, and yours? No doors. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, you can usher in Mrs. John. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. <sighs> Mrs. John. What is your husband's best sexual position? Mrs. June, we're still waiting for your response. Um, my, um, my husband's best sexual position is missionary. Mm. Yes. Okay. And yours? I am... Um, I, 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 I don't have a particular sexual position, ma'am. Okay. 
Okay. Noted. Um, Mrs. June, how long have you known your husband, Mr. Mike? Um, not up to two years. We, we just met and we just couldn't wait to get married. Any child or miscarriages? None at all. I, I've never been pregnant. Interesting. What's your husband's best dinner meal? You know, my husband is a typical African man, so his best meal for dinner is semu and ugusis. Oh. And yours? I don't eat at night. I just eat food. All right. I think that should be all for now, Mrs. John. You may take your leave now. All right, go along with your husband's phone. Okay. Phone. Yeah. This whole thing is becoming so uncomfortable. Asking me questions I have no answers to. Like what? They're asking me what's your favorite sexual position. How am I supposed to know that? Why would you know that? Are we not a couple? What did you tell them? How am I supposed to know that we've not done it before? <sighs> if I don't get this money, I'll just sell you to one Yahoo Plus guy. I think you'll be more useful there. Look how he's talking. Tell me one question you got right. Tell me. Easy. They asked me what your favorite food is for dinner, and I said rice. That was smart <laughs> thinking because I know ladies love rice day and night. I don't eat rice. I don't eat food for dinner. I eat fruits. Fruits? Yes, it's not every lady that loves rice. We're not birds. Of course. So, if I don't get this money, I will never forgive you. Neither will I. Who eats fruit at night? So what's going to happen now? Do you think we ruined our chance? I beg, don't talk to me. You're so Stay on your own, oh okay? God. You're so annoying. No, you are annoying. Correctly. I don't know, ask him, because he has a way of messing things up all the time. Really? Did you answer any of your questions correctly? You're just being unnecessarily difficult. I hope things don't take a new turn. Huh? Hopefully. Your attention will be needed shortly. Excuse me. Look, Mr. Mike. I don't care about you. I don't know about you. As for me, I already have a budget for a life-changing investment for this money. And nothing, not even you or your nasty attitude will stop me because I am determined to make it to the finals. Mrs. June, do you know what you are? A daydreamer. You should Google it. So, you are budgeting to spend money that you're not willing to work hard for. Huh? You are more of a daydreamer than I am. You. You're a criminal. You're a thief. Yes, um, Mr. Dixon. Are you sure that you presented a true couple to us? Because with their answers, we would love to sign their marriage certificate. You don't need to worry yourself, sir. They are a true couple. And I have their marriage certificate. Uh, truth be told, I, I got to know them in our earliest auditions and from then they've been married for some years now. Are you aware that this couples game show is for couples who are married for at least one year that are eligible to participate in this game show? Yes, ma'am. I'm aware. And I can bet you this couple have been married for some years now and they have their marriage certificate. 
she's alright. If you say so. But we will not tolerate any damages if this can happen. Okay? Noted. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god, why is she not picking up our calls? I hope they make it. Make it? How can they even make it when they're not even friends? This girl is just so frustrating. And if you see this guy, Mimi, this guy is so cute and very fun to be with. Her friend is not just cooperating and it's so hard. I think I know what the problem is. You know, June loves Josh a lot. And she wouldn't want anything that would ruin her relationship with Josh. In as much as they both agreed on this mission, she still needs to be extremely careful. For real? Then Josh would have just saved us the stress and made it very easier for us. The improvements go hard. Yes. Come on, girlfriend. Josh swims in money. When you don't expect him to go on that mission with her. Yeah, that's not a good excuse. Because even the richest man in Nigeria, in the world, still wants more money. Please, I beg, I beg, just, just, just don't even make that. It's, don't even say that. Don't even go there, okay? It's not a good excuse. Just, just stop it. On a second thought, you are right anyways. Just try her number again. She might pick this time around. Come on. Mr. and Mrs. Matthew, I will not mind words but to tell you people that we are not impressed with your diary section. You people don't have a relationship. It is a shameful thing that a couple who has been together for more than a year do not have a relationship, neither do you have a marital goals. So I wonder how you both are living under one roof as a couple, housemates. So we're just... We are not here to talk with you. We're here to talk to you. Are you people aware that you failed all the questions that was filed to you at the game show? Yes, that's right. And to that end, you people have lost 30 marks. And to qualify you to the physical finals, you have at least to make 50 marks. Well, this section is 30 marks and you've lost it. And you have 70% to qualify you to the final. But you can still make it to the final only if you can get up to 40% of the rest of the questions in your next diary section, if successful. Baby girl, cheer up. This is not the end of the world. All you need to do now is maximum cooperation and things will fall into place. Just don't understand my frustration. That guy is unapproachable and I needed to ask him some questions. The thing is, there's some things you don't need to ask. This is business, for goodness sake. Just stay focused and just study him and that's all. Franka is right anyways. You guys should just stop fighting. Eh? You better win this money, yo. Yeah, you need to win this money. It's better you get this dollar that is knocking at your door in millions. <laughs> ah, see this one. Hey, <laughs> God. So now money be your own problem. Before uncle, at least I get to be rewarded for the moral support. Moral support. Ah, oh, okay. girls, this is serious. It's not funny. Don't make a joke out of it. Very serious. So. What do we do to correct all this? <sighs> because we need this money. I know we are not part of this game, but so you know, if you win, we win. Listen, baby girl. I think what you need to do right now is to vacate this room and move over to his room. Sharp, sharp, no time. Excuse yes. me. <laughs> Just to get to him, get to him. Ha! I beg, I beg, think of another okay, plan. I disagree with you on that. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so when next are these supervisors coming around again? I don't have an idea. <sighs> you need to do something. I mean, even if it means rehearsal, asking him things about himself while you jot it down and he will do the same. <laughs> you mustn't move into his room before you get to know him more. 
That's true. Mrs. Sandra, welcome to the first section of the couple's game show. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will want you to cooperate with us and answer your questions truthfully as we commence, okay? Okay, sir. All right, Mrs. Sandra. Here's your first question. Hmm. Your husband, has he ever, ever raised his hands on you on or before marriage? <laughs> no. My husband would never do such a thing. In fact, that's what he hates the most. Hmm. Yeah, that's also a domestic violence. Your second question. Okay. How many times does your husband make love to you in a week? Um, three times a week, one day, and then he rests the next day. Hmm. Okay. Here's your next question. Have you ever deprived your husband or turned your husband down whenever he initiates lovemaking? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, your final question. Okay, sir. What is your husband's best food? Hmm. Um, he likes white rice with vegetable stew. And then sometimes he does a mix of um, fiber and carbohydrates. Noted. That'll be all for now. Thank you. Okay, let's have your husband on board. Okay, thank you so much. That's okay. Listen, I had to come back to speak to both of you because I am so disappointed. I mean, how can vibrant young people like you face such an adventurous task? Tell me. Mr. Dixon, I apologize. You should apologize very well because all of this is your fault. Stop. Are you serious? Yeah. Stop it, both of you. What's wrong with you? You behave like adults. Huh? Do you have a idea how much I'm invested in the, into this show, this business of ours? Huh? I give you a life changing opportunity. And you throw it at my face. Are you insane? We're deeply sorry, sir. Please, what can we do to make amends? Where? All right. The secondary session is usually the toughest because that is when they get to know your vision, your purpose in life. Uh, of, of course, no organization will give you a whoopee sum of one million dollars without knowing or having evidence of what you want to use the money for. That means we really need to get to know each other because we don't know what kind of questions they may throw at us. Exactly. You know, that bone is what, what makes it. Now you guys need to work in it and throw it at their faces next time. We've heard you, Mr. Dixon. I believe the next thing to do is make amends. I've learned my lessons and I believe that June has also learned her lessons. Moving forward, I promise my unwavering cooperation. June, you heard him. What do you think? I'll, I'll try my best and, and cooperate. Maybe get a book and jot down what he likes and what he doesn't like and await their next visit. But can you hear yourself? You want to get a book to jot down my, my visions? my likes, and read it to them like a nursery rhyme? I'm um, sorry, I, I'll try and do something better. Good. Okay guys, it seems we are good to go. Listen, just walk on it in there. Bring the money home. That what matters. Okay? So Dr. Dixon, I think you should be talking to her specifically, not me. <sighs> No, because I, I, I'm ready to... Not again! Mr. Ben. 
Have you ever hit your wife before? <laughs> no, why, why would I do a thing like that? <laughs> I only scold her when she does something wrong. Okay, noted. Second question. Okay. How many times do you make love to your wife? <laughs> um, three times. Yeah. Um, but I would like to rest a day after each. Yeah. Mm, that's good. <laughs> so, your wife, has she ever turned you down whenever you want to make advances at her? Well, you know women now. Okay. Of course, yes. Yeah. Okay. Your final question. What is your wife's best meal? Um, she loves to have um, toast bread and tea. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And uh, what's your favorite meal hmm. at night? I... I like rice and vegetable. I, I always love to have my carbohydrate. Okay. That will be all for now, Mr. Ben. Okay. You can join your wife upstairs, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Ben, I must applaud the two of you for doing great so far. Thank you. Thank you. And for this, the both of you have scored 30 percent. What? <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you for doing it great work. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, I must confess that I am impressed mm -hmm. for both of you. Mm -hmm. Just, you only have ten percent left for the to get to the final. Okay. Yeah. So keep on the good work. Thank you. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That'll be all for now, guys. Um, we hope to see you guys some other time. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm so glad we Thank could so do much. this with you, and uh, we hope we emerge the winner, you know, by God's grace. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Are you kidding me? I'm going to spoil you just a bit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy too. I'm so happy. Um, so babe, what, what are you going to do with us? Uh, you be asking me that kind of question. You don't trust me. Mm -hmm. This thing, I'm going to spoil you, daddy. Mm. I'm going to spoil you. See, I'll buy you all the most expensive thing in this world. Ah, my husband. You trust me now. I do not want see. Ah, look at you. Please go and bring me my list. <laughs> How do I serve him this fruit? I am trying my best to make this thing work, but his pomposity will not allow him to calm down. If I should serve him now, he will start feeling like a champ. I think I need to learn how to cut his ego this time around. So, 
girl, so let's see. <laughs> Who's playing for? See your baby. It's me, but. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What's that? Play now. <laughs> what are you hiding? <laughs> I'm still going to beat you regardless. Enjoy, enjoy, I'll still enjoy. win. Stop cheating. I'm still going to win. Play. Oh. General. Pick. Because. Guys, I think I'm feeling sleepy. Like, I'm exhausted. Why now? Let's play some more. Come on. We just started this game. Okay. Are you sure they're not switching this side? Hmm. On a second thought, that could be true. Because it's almost an hour she went in there. And if that's true, then. I will be the most happiest person ever. Franca! Because that's what we're praying for, Nabi. <laughs> really? Is that what we're praying for? Let's be real. I think I should call her. Okay. Let me call her. She's not picking. Oh. Then allow her to do it. Mm. Okay? Let them enjoy themselves. Babe. But you know before you move, this guy, this guy can worry. I don't understand. You can't worry. Abio. <laughs> I just pray that they should give us the result that we are looking for. Yes. So they are married, so why are you bothering yourself? Mm. Yeah, your friend is like the son of that. That's the reason she's always avoiding Mike. It's all good. Uh, she's calling. Okay. Hello? Where are you? Okay. Franca, she's in her room. Please go and see her. Okay, let's go there. Yes. That's no good. Right back. All right, see That's you. Good, I'm coming back. Right okay, you will? Yes, of course. All right. I must beat you. I must really beat you. Oh my gosh. Don't take too long, yeah? No. Why do I feel like you're avoiding me? Oh, please, Mike, stop. What is Mike? That's how you called me Mike in front of the supervisor. Why can't you call me something sweet? <laughs> something sweet like what? Like baby boy. Like my king, my love. <laughs> um. How about calling you my majesty, <sighs> your highness, my lord? How about that? Stop playing. I'm serious. You don't like that? <laughs> you know you actually have a beautiful smile. <laughs> exactly. You should smile more often. <sighs> okay, so what do you want? I think we should stop fighting. I think we should get to know each other. You know, actually try to make this work. We're talking about one million dollars. It's a lot of money. We should at least try. What do you want to know about me? I want to know what you like, your favorite sex position, <laughs> will you like being kissed? If you like forehead kisses, or the chick, or maybe neck kisses.
Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. You girls know how much I love my boyfriend and how I've been keeping myself for him. Now this, how could I let myself, how? I'm done with all of this. I, I'm done. I'm quitting. You're what? Oh, sorry, but you don't have to quit because of all of this. Exactly. I can't. I can't continue. I'm sorry. I can't. Babe, relax. I, I, I know right now you're under pressure, okay? But just relax. Just breathe in and breathe out. If you quit right now, then you'll be the bigger loser. Yes. Just, just, just let go of these things, okay? Let go of all of this. Please. June, think about it this way. You can't lose all of this because of Mike. Besides, you guys are legally married. Yeah, it's just for the show, so it's as good as illegal. <sighs> we are talking about a millions of dollars here. Babes. Oh. Hmm. Babe. Sweetheart. <sighs> Listen. This is one million dollars we're talking about. <sighs> one million dollars. You've been serious right now. Please. Please, just let go of all of this, okay? I can't. What was I thinking? It's okay. It's just... Just think about what a million dollar can do for a you. A lot of things. I know, but I... I feel so terrible with myself. I feel, look at what I've done to Josh. He doesn't deserve it. Let's stop feeling terrible. You, you look really excited today. What's the update? Bro, my missus finally had a taste of me today. <laughs> How did it happen? You drug her? Which one be drug? Only my vibe alone is enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she willingly gave herself to you? Willingly or unwillingly. She enjoyed it. It happened. Mm -hmm. Nah, but you don't calm down. <laughs> But well, now she did vex, she did form C, I, I took advantage of her. That's a guy. You forgive her ta-ta-ta now. To say you give her ta-ta-ta by now, she put the ask for more instead of to the claim say <laughs> the rape her. Huh? Bro, you know women now, uh, they go always want form, they pretend. That's right, that's what they I know say she enjoy her. The kind, the kind the wipe me while I wipe her. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm sure she knows my favorite sex position. That's it's going mean. to be hard to forget. That's it. Mean. <laughs> Bad man, Mike! <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. Babes, why didn't you girls tell me before coming? Well, you told us we can come visit you anytime you like. Yeah, I said so, but not at this point. Mr. Dixon said we should be very careful about entertaining visitors for now because the supervisors are in town. Really? Yeah. Well, you should have told us before now. Exactly. So hope this visit will not cause any problem. I believe it wouldn't, but please, no visits till I say otherwise. Please. Okay, that's fine, no problem. So give us gist, girlfriend. What gist? So how are you coping with Mike? Ah, I don't start. Well, we're trying. I mean, it's obvious we need the money more than our pride. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying. Babe, mm. there is more to that. Not that trying. Please, though, you guys should give this to some movie. Ah, which one is trying? Mimi, calm down. Relax. Your blood to the home. Shoot. Applaud her. She, she's making so much effort. Give her some applause. Yes, you should. You think it's easy living under the same roof with somebody like Mike? Ha. Ha. I beg her to try you. My Need to applaud trying. my efforts. Yes. I, I agree with you. That you people should not. We won't, but girl, it's not easy. <laughs> but one million dollars no be here now. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly speaking, I am enjoying every bit of this show with this couple. Right? Yes. In fact, the one that amazes me more is the fact that this company provides them with everything they need for the show. They give them clothes, they give them fruit, food, drinks. Mm. <laughs> Our mother shows everything, I swear. I swear. I swear. <laughs> And the one that amazes me the most is the fact that they are allowed to have visitors in this house. Right. I mean, the sponsors are superb. I'm sure they are billionaires. I'm telling you, the sponsors must be billionaires. Sure. Nothing more. Oh, oh my gosh. That reminds me. What's that? 
Why do guys do so much kiss and tell? I mean, it's unnecessary. <laughs> is it necessary for a guy to tell his friends that he made love to a girl? You know? You know what I mean? Why are you asking? What happened? The other day, I overheard Mike discussing with Jude how he handled June on bed. He said that June enjoyed every bit of it. Hmm. 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 And, I, and then I asked again, is that necessary? What's the point? He even went as far as saying that he taught June his favorite style's position in a hard way. No, it's actually very funny because I understand. Hi, men. Fear men. I'm telling you, it's necessary. But I think it's a men thing, trust me. Even we girls do the same thing, so we kiss and tell. So it's a normal thing for them to do. Hi, girls. Hi. Oh. Uh, I gave you this. I hope you like it. Come on. Wow. You ah. like it? Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, I think it will be proper for me to leave you. Do your thing. Oh. So what's up? How have you been? Good. Um, and you? Thanks, but um, I was going to ask if we could go out on a date. <sighs> no, um, it's nothing serious. Just so we could get to know each other. Okay. I'll think about it. Fair enough. Take all the time you need to think. But please don't keep a gentleman waiting. <laughs> huh? Okay. So what's happening? What have you girls been gisting about? Well, we've been gossiping. <laughs> Having just normal girl, girls chat, normal actually. Girl. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I hope you like this stuff. I'm, I'm really so grateful. Babe. Yeah, babe. I don't know how much I've missed you. You don't have an idea. I've missed you too. Alright. But, but baby, the way you're going, you're acting as if you want to eat me raw. But why wouldn't I? Because I've missed you. Besides, missed I've been you. having this terrible headache recently, but... Headache? Yeah. Why? Haven't you been sleeping well? I have. Maybe it's Mike and his stress, baby. Mike? What? Is Mike disturbing you at night? Hell no. The stop who? Do I look like that his girlfriend? Do I, do I look like someone he can talk to? He won't even try it. He knows better not to. The stop who? Is he mad? Babe, please tell me the truth. Have you kissed him? Kiss who? Mike. That man that nothing good can come out of his mouth. You what? I can't kiss him. Kiss him for what? Why? How? In fact, if I have to kiss Mike to survive, I'd rather die than kiss him. God forbid. I'll never ever kiss that man. I can't even stand him, let alone kiss him. God forbid. It's not possible. Babe, I'm fine. I'm sure I'll be okay. Babe, you are running temperature. You need... You know what? Go on, go on, get dressed. Let's go to the hospital. I'm good. It's not anything serious. I, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll feel better before... Baby, please. Let's not argue about this. Alright, all right, it's fine, it's fine. But I know it's not anything serious. I'll, I'll be Don't okay. well, get dressed, please. Alright? Alright, babe. Can you stop? Uh -huh. I just said you talk to your woman, you're coming to talk to me. Uh -huh. 
Mike have to marry you <laughs> because someone needs to take care of this child. I mean, let's concentrate more on this pregnancy. And as for George, he will definitely come back. Well, I think I kind of like understand his pain. Because just imagine that you, you, you plant a fruit and not show the fruit for a very long time. And then another man comes from nowhere to eat it. Ah, well, it can be really painful. I don't see Josh forgiving me. You need to see the look on his face. I don't see him forgiving me at all. Please don't worry. He will definitely calm down. Yeah. Besides, you guys agreed on this business from onset. So he will. Yeah. Why are you just acting like you don't understand my situation? I am pregnant for another man. Yeah. Are you acting like it's okay? Okay, so what do you want to do now? Oh, this is not even helping matters. There's nothing you can do about this again. Babe, just relax, okay? Being sad will never help you. Please, don't worry. I and Mimi will try to go see Josh later today. Yeah. <sighs> she lied to me that she has nothing to do with that guy. Little did I know that she has been sleeping with that useless Mike. Josh, please. And that's a stab on my face. Josh, please relax. Please. It's just once. It's, it's not even up to five times or ten times or twenty times. It was a mistake. She didn't mean for all this to happen. Besides, she, she told us that Mike took advantage of her. Took advantage of her? Yes. And she did not bother to, to even tell me? No report to the authorities? Oh gosh, come on. Come on! Gosh, Josh, of course you know that's not possible. Josh, this is just business. And of course you know this. Besides, you gave consent to this. So why you... I don't understand. What's going on? That's the point. Josh, you don't expect June to do anything at that point in time. Except you want her to lose it out completely. <laughs> do I look like I care? Listen, the truth is, I am done with June. I am so done. Let her go and be with that. That what? Let's Mike! Come on, Josh. June needs you at this point in time. Please do not turn your back against her. Josh, I know you're not to be this heartless. You can't afford to leave June after seven years of being together. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Josh, please. It's Come just on. only once. Yeah. It's just once. It's just please. once. It's only one time, so. Uh -huh. It's just once. Yeah. It's just once. Frank, is something wrong with you? I am complaining about once. That, that useless, hopeless mic stop with her. You're saying uh, uh, it's, not, it's not even uh, up to five times or ten times. Is something wrong with you? But it's just once now. It's just once. I'm mm. sorry. Keep your, 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 your sorry to yourself. Please, leave my car. I, I, I need to leave. Hmm? I need to leave. So oh, rubbish. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh my God, babe. Can you take your calls? I really need to talk to you. Can you just take his calls? He won't talk to me. Oh, God. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Is she fine at the moment? <sighs> I 
you know what, Mike? We will try to come see you guys, but just know that June will never listen to us. So I would just advise you try to handle things yourself till we come. I think you should get your manager involved. You should have thought about that before you were digging her. Babe, Mike just called me now to say that June is still very mad at him. Then let's go and see her. Nope. It's his mess, so let him fix it. Besides, how are we even sure June would even listen to us? Besides, she, she locked herself up in the room. So there's no point going there. June locked herself in the room. So he said. What are we doing here? Let's go and see her then. Can you please relax? We're not going anywhere. Let him handle his own mess by himself. Besides, I just feel like something good might come out of this. So just relax and let him fix it. Don't get involved. Are we good? Uh, uh, June, come on. Calm down, okay? Uh, if I heard you correctly, uh, you were pregnant. Yes, I am pregnant. And he got me pregnant. Wow! <laughs> wow, good one. <laughs> Congratulations. Excuse me. Listen, come down. Come on. Come on, June. With this pregnancy, it's a big plus for us on this program. Remember, the supervisor will be having this um, doubt about the genuity of your union. But with this pregnancy, the doubt is over. You're <laughs> so, so disappointed in you, Mr. Dixon. You're so selfish. This cycle got me pregnant and you're here telling me it's good for the show? My life is at stake. My future is at stake. Can't you see that this whole thing, whatever it is, was supposed to be temporary? Now I am pregnant for a cycle. Come on, June, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. He has his life going on for him with his girlfriend. What about me? What happens to me? What happens to me and my boyfriend? Look, I don't mind taking you in as my baby mama, okay? I'll take care of you. I'll take care of the oh baby. What All right. Is this? Look, like he said, this is an advantage for us in this game. Okay? Look, in your wildest dream, if you think that I will keep this pregnancy so that you can win, you have something else coming. I am not keeping this pregnancy. We will lose the money. Mm -mm -mm. And I mean it. Jen, please, you can't do that, okay? Yes, I offended you, but that baby didn't do anything to you. You don't have to do anything yes. harmful to that poor kid. Please, okay? Fine, you can leave the show, you can mess everything up, but please, I'm begging you, do not harm the baby, please. Baby, I'm sorry, okay? Come on, Joe. The young man is sorry. He's not sorry, does he look sorry? Joe, I'm sorry, okay? I'm truly sorry. I've always liked you from the very first day I saw you. Yes, but you were too stubborn. You never gave me the chance to show you. Listen, I am an only child of my parents and I have never, ever gotten any woman pregnant before. So this child is a blessing. Please, let's have this baby together. I promise you will never regret it. Please. Go for it. Go for it. Franca, since the first time I met you at the game house, I knew you were the one. I love you so much, Franca. I want to take us to the next level. I love you too, Jude. Franca, 
Please be my girl. I love you. I am very serious about you. Yeah, I know you love me. But Jude, I'm really so scared because I have been with a lot of wrong guys in the past. I just don't want to make another mistake. You're not making a mistake. I appreciate your honesty. See, I can't promise what I can't give. But what I'm certain of is I love you. I really love you and I want you to be my woman. I love you, Franca. Are you sure? I promise. <laughs> Josh Bride is just way too much. You don't even need him. You won't believe that I went to see Josh. And then he told me that he doesn't care about you in any way. So what's in the matter he said we should leave his car? Girl, yeah, listen, you don't deserve such a guy. You're just too beautiful. Too way too fine for that kind of a guy. Just let him go. A man who truly appreciates your person. A man who would love you for who you are will locate you. Okay? Babes, just forget about that guy. You don't expect him to take responsibility of what he knows nothing about. Exactly. June, <laughs> I just feel like it's best you give the father of your unborn child a chance to prove how much he loves you. Mike truly loves you. If he truly loves me, why is he still bringing his girlfriend into the house? As for Josh, I... I can't forget him just like that. We had a relationship for a long while. Well, as regards that, I... I did spoke to Mike about it. On why he's bringing a girl into the house and he said to me that he's doing that just to get your attention. Fool. I told you that guy does not have sense. Uh, How? How? Like, make it make sense to me. You see, your friend Franca is in a relationship with Mike's friend, which is um, Jude. Yeah. yeah. And um, I and June are no longer dating. So um, I feel that you are the right person to occupy our space. Wait, 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 wait. Are you being serious like now? Occupy as in how? <laughs> what do you mean by occupy? Do I look like a passenger? Come on, Lenny. Come off it. You're not a child. Get off me. Listen, listen. I, I, I really do like you, all right? I've been your secret admirer for a while now. And um, uh, I can do anything to, to make us be together. I want us to start something new. You no, know, I, I and June, we are no longer dating, so... Josh, I think you are sick on the brain. Yes! And you need to go to the hospital and get yourself checked. What nonsense! Come on. I, I have what you need, which is money. I can take care of you. I can take you anywhere in the world. Alright? Listen. Just give me a chance. Alright? You can go to hell and burn to ashes for all I care. In fact, go to hell with your stupid money! What the hell do you think you are? Mimi. I can't believe I'm doing this with you right now. Rubbish. Come on. Okay, so this one you decided to cook for us today. Hope we are safe. <laughs> very safe. Don't worry, don't be scared. <laughs> You're very safe. Anyways, Mike made something really delicious for me the other day, so I promised to reciprocate, so here I am. Mm. <laughs> I can sense love in the air. And please, <laughs> this meal should not be served in the dining room. 
You should be served in the other room. You know what I mean? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm still trying to recover from the last one. Please. Okay. My girl is happy lately. <laughs> yeah. I think I've been wrong about Mike. He's actually a nice guy. Very kind. He's thoughtful. And caring too. Wow. <laughs> All this coming from you. Nice one. Please keep on this love when next the supervisors are around so that you can answer the questions correctly. Of course, we will. We're actually working very hard towards that. Very, very hard. Wow. My girl has moved on. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, what would I do? I mean, Josh dumped me over my little mistake and. Um, Life goes on. Oh, it, I mean, it's what it is. And thank God that Mike has promised to take up his responsibility. I mean, such is life. We, we learn. Yeah. So, what can I do to assist? Just help me uh, beat the things. All right. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, love babe. Let the single breathe. Do not suffocate us, please. I would never let the single spread. You can chalk on it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is going on here? Look at my girl. June. Huh? I will unveil this gist for you later. Oh you my have God. missed a lot. Obviously, I can tell. <laughs> Under my roof, and I have no idea. Wow. Anyways, I trust you to take care of my girl. Because he's a good guy. Or am I lying, Jude? You know you have nothing to worry about. She's a I love her so much. Oh, oh. wow! <laughs> I can see love in the air. <laughs> Babe, is this you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Oh, <sighs> oh she's here. Good day, Mr. Dixon. Good day. You look stunning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, Mike, I hope you guys are ready because the organizers are planning to come for the semi-finals. And once they're in town, they can come here unannounced. Please, I need you guys to be prepared. Mr. Dixon, we are fully prepared. Even if they want to come tomorrow, <laughs> my wife and I are on standby. Wow. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> in fact, you guys are making me proud already. <laughs> That's the spirit. Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You ready? I am. <laughs> well, you guys are ready. I'll, I'll, let me leave you a little burst too. Okay. Thanks for coming okay. by. Okay. Congratulations in advance. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. You too. Mr. Dixon. You are a very useless <laughs> man. You, you are useless. You are, useless one. you are very stupid. Oh. See, let me tell you something. Mm. By the time I'm done with you, mm. by the time I'm done with you, mm -hmm. you know that I'm the best. Oh, please just shut up. Mm. Look at this one. I've always known that you've been pretending since we got into this house. Me? Shameless idiot. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't always pretend only when they are here. Hypocrites. Me, a hypocrite? Yes. It is you and your generation that are hypocrites. <laughs> 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 Sleep well? Yes, I did. I knew. Of course, I did. Baby. Yeah. 
you know I love you, right? I realize that every day. I want us to present a very good and strategic project goal to the supervisors on the semi-final. Okay. So, what is your biggest dream in life? To eradicate poverty from my family. Okay, and how do you intend to do that? I don't know, but I believe if I win this money, it would help. It would really go a long way to help my immediate family and my extended family. On a personal note, what do you want to do with your life? I would want to own my own chocolate manufacturing company. Hmm. Is that what you intend to do with the money? Yeah, if I win. Nice. Yeah. What about you? What's your own plan? <sighs> oh, my plan is far from yours. I still want to hear it. Tell me. I intended to jackpot with Sonia out of the country. What? Yeah. <laughs> but the plan has changed now, <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, wait, so... If you win the money, you'd rather relocate to another company, see your girlfriend, than invest in the money yeah. into something worthwhile? Yeah, why would you win an amount like that and still stay in Nigeria? <laughs> but like I said, the plan has changed. Two. We're going to present you a dream as the project. Wait. And if we win? We'll execute it. You're joking. No, I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> really? I'm not joking. Oh my god, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful to hear. Mm. <laughs> I love you. We have found out that this marriage is built on deceit. I mean, the both of you fooled us, pretending to be perfect couple in our presence and become a beast in our absence. As God may have it, we caught the two of you red-handed, physically insulting yourselves, especially you, Mr. Ben. Do you people know that domestic violence is a punishable offense that is against the law and humanity? Huh? Do you think that we have not been noticing the bruises in your wife's body, Mr. Ben? Huh? The both of you are hereby disqualified from this couple game show. Yes, ah, yes. Ma. Ma. And with every reward that comes with it, they are all cancelled. Please, please. It's the devil's work, sir, please. You people have please just two minutes us, to back these premises. Yes. I will not hesitate to tell the security to throw your things out. Sir, please. And your Ma. time starts now. Vacate these premises or you will face the law. Please, Mama, please come, but you could... Jibis, you have seen what you have caused. Eh? You. Oh, God, save me from Karashika. You have seen what you have caused, Jezebel. It's like you want another fight to stand up, stupid. Eh? I believe the truth. Mike is a really, really wonderful guy. And I'm ready to do this over and over again with him. Honestly, he's a sweet guy. Love is a beautiful thing, and I am happy that you're forgetting about that judge of a guy. Honestly, that guy does not love you at all. I mean, I had no choice but to move on in my life. Yeah. That's what it is. Why did he say he never loved me? <laughs> Josh had the effrontery to ask me out the other day, saying that I should come fill in your space in his life. Can you imagine? He did? Yes. Oh my God. I'm not surprised though. Wait, so he's one of them guys that want to sleep with their ex's friends just to get back at them as revenge? Exactly. 
complaining. I am happy that you have found love and peace with Mike. <laughs> and I pray that you should win this show. <laughs> Man, we don't have a choice. That's all our mind is set to winning the show. And Mike and I are working tirelessly towards it. We need to win. Yeah. And that's, that's the next thing to do. Um. <laughs> You both improved magically and positively. We didn't expect this wonderful improvement. But we both are glad that you answered all your questions correctly. Bravo to both of you. <laughs> we are very impressed, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew. With this, we will happily score you 40%. And also, we are pleased to announce to you that both of you are qualified for the finals. Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew. Uh, see you at the finals, okay? Oh, congratulations. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> oh, you got Babes, I am super, super excited. What is you it? You need to see this. See what? Oh my goodness. What is it? <laughs> what? You need to see this. Mr. and Mrs. Matthew, among the finalists. Yes. Wow, this is great news. I'm telling you. Did you also see that? Ten couples were disqualified already. Oh my goodness! And five among the finalists. And our baby girl is among the finalists! <laughs> this is great news! Hopefully, I know June and Mike will win this. I am so intentional about this. Are you not? Of course, you don't trust a girl anymore. Of course, I do. They would win! <laughs> Can't you see? Oh my god, I'm so happy. This is. You know what? This is great. I think we should call her. Yes, we should go and just wait for later. Call her. Yes. I'll just do that. Wow. <laughs> come on, come on, bro. So you, you actually mean to tell me that you want to abandon abandon your girl because of this single mistake? Come on, listen, uh, you know it's against guys' code now. I can't accept another man's child. What would I tell my family? Come on, I, I understand how you feel. You understand, but come on. This girl is at the verge of making it big for the both of you. Making it big? <laughs> Come on, Jude. I'm already big, my brother. And she knows that. I'm already big and made. So... Uh... Okay. At least you can just call to check up on her. Just cheer her up. See, they already qualified for the finals. Just call your girl to cheer her up now. Um, listen. Uh, congratulations to her. Right? I'm not calling anybody. I am done with June. Do you understand? Yeah, for crying out loud, it's your guy's girl already. So stop teasing me. I'm not, I'm not teasing you. I'm not teasing uh, you. Um, yeah. where, where are you headed? Uh, I'm going to see someone for a meeting. Um, you, you drop me off then? Yeah, let me just drop you off. Yeah, come in. Yeah, I'm two weeks pregnant. Hey. Hey. Hey, please. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
Are you a witch? Help me get water or something. If she dies, good radiance to bad rubbish. I don't blame you, babe. What do you think you're doing? Why called me? You said you're trying to disrupt your show that they're almost winning. Disrupt? Me? Uh-uh, no. Me and disrupt has no connection. I'm not disrupting any show. My God, me pregnant. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm carrying a child. So I just came to share the good news with him. That's all. Sonia, you failed. You failed this time. You claim to love Mike, but you, you're, you're bent on causing havoc. Hey, for your information, I am here to stay. I'm not leaving this house. If this is trouble for him, then... You should man up to it. After all, he got me pregnant now. Eh? So, me, I'm not leaving this house until Mike does the needful. Are you okay? No, can, can you, are you listening to yourself? Can you hear yourself? Don't you have shame? Shame? <laughs> Stop it. You cannot shame the shameless now. Me, I sold my shame at the market since long time ago. I'm shameless. How can you be talking about shame when I'm pregnant? Come on. Do you realize that Mike and Mr. Dixon are in the hospital struggling to ensure that June doesn't lose her pregnancy and you're here causing more problems? Eh? Hi. You see, people, human beings, everybody's wicked. You are very wicked. So you're concerned about June's pregnancy. You're concerned about June's child. What about my child now? Is it, is it goat I'm carrying? Is it roasted goats I'm carrying on, on in my womb? Eh? Oh, is it, is, it, is it good I'm carrying in my womb? You are not concerned about me. You're talking about June's child. Anyways, I'm waiting for them in this house. Show me they will it's return. Okay, it's okay. It's I'm okay. It's, it's okay. Sonia, please. Please. I don't want you to escalate this. The organizers of this show must not come here and meet you. That would mean automatic disqualification for Mike and June. <laughs> you have sense, Shikmi. When I was telling you that you have sense, you have sense. You know what? I will be the happiest woman on earth. I can't wait for it to happen. See, maybe I think I should be the one to call them. What do you think? You will learn. Don't play. You are a very wicked person. Uh -huh. Even your jaw. See, you can't make heaven. <laughs> Don't you know there is a sweet death being a wicked person? I get pleasure in being wicked. Rubbish. Maybe somebody I've suffered with. Ah, no. Sonia, you are fucked up. Ah, ah. They will see madness in this house. Okay? I'm waiting for them to come. Rubbish. the food Franca said she left here before leaving. June is very hungry. I need to take some food to her. And how does that affect me and my unborn child? Besides, what right do you have to come inside this house and start questioning me on how I eat my food in this house? Sonia, I am being serious right now. June needs food. <laughs> it's like you don't have sense. Right, do you have to come inside this kitchen and start opening the pot like you own them? Is this your house? Sooner, the last time I checked, you weren't a member of this mansion. So why are you acting like you own this house? You know what? I can't do this with you right now. Hello, Uncle Mike. There is no food at home. Sonia literally consumed everything. I should go and buy. All right. I won't be too long. Okay, sir. I don't blame you, silly girl. If I load you slap, rubbish.
Should I turn off the AC? Can I play again? Sorry. Okay. Please get well for me soon, okay? I will be What do you think? Shift the bag! Hey, what, hey, what, what do you think you're doing? <sighs> Can't I sleep here? I have to rush. She's not the only one that is pregnant. Sleep where? Are you out of your yeah, mind? Yeah, no. What is wrong with you? Babe, hey, babe. Sonia. Babe, get out of our bed, please. Listen to me. Listen. Listen to me very carefully. Sonia, the last time you came here, I wanted us to have a good time. But you told me you were seeing your period. And all of a sudden, you're pregnant? You know what you are? A pathetic liar. That's what you are. And I'm, I'm done with this relationship. Look, stay quietly in the guest room. And when I'm up in the morning, I want you gone. Do you understand me? <laughs> you lie. I lie? Yes. You lie. See, Babe, don't let her touch me, please. Is this your, 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 your June, eh? You, 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 Babe, take her away. You, Mike, Mike. See, Mike, why are you coming in this house? You, see, I will beat you. How did you get this Mike, butter girl from? Mike, Take her out of the room. Mike. Oh my god. Where where gosh, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry. That girl is from the gutters. Can she leave her, the house already? Oh sorry. god. Sonia, what are you doing downstairs with your bag crying? Is it now? Is it now, Mike? Mike asked me to leave his house and never return. He said I should go forever. What? What did you do? What happened? Nothing, no, nothing. Just because I I lay in between him and and, and June, he, he he pushed me out of his room and room and said I should I should go out. Sonia. Why are you unnecessarily wicked? Mm. Eh? Both of us know you are not pregnant. You just lied against Mike just to frustrate June and her, and her unborn child. Eh? Well, thank God your plans didn't work. So... Even though, even though... Hey, why are you sounding like this now? Why are you sounding like this? Have you forgotten where we are coming from? Have you forgotten that I suffered with this boy? Ah, Mike! I suffered with Mike! We've been through a lot together. How do you expect me to just let go of everything like that? My and besides, he left me for, 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 for June. Madam. How can he dump me and leave me for me? Mike has not me. done anything wrong. Mike has not done anything wrong. You got exactly what you deserve. See, I, 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 I know, but please, Jude, please now, help me to beg Mike. I cannot do without him. I can't live without him. You know, I love him so much. Please, please help me to beg him. You remember when I came here to warn you? Hmm? See, Mike is a grown man. He can make decisions on his own. I cannot interfere in this matter. Not when it concerns you. I'm sorry, I can't help you. We can't help you. Just go home, okay? I who, who caught you? You'll be good. <laughs> who caught you? <laughs> remember, I warned you. You warned you. Warn us. I will tell you before now. If, 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 if not for, for, for Mike that is misbehaving with that dude, why will I even talk to you? Look at how you go prepared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, I will love you till I die. I will love you till I die. <laughs> Mike! So Mike told me that Sonia wasn't pregnant. All the pregnancy allegations was just to get his attention. Baba, she really went too far. Honestly. How desperate can girls be at times? Babe, that's no desperation. I just feel she's trying to protect a man's interests. Although she went to extreme, but I don't know. My point exactly. I mean, why did she have to go that far to lie? Oh, desperation leads to a man downfall. Hope she learns her lesson. Oh, that's meant for you. Who will love you, will love you. And who will not love you, will not love you. No matter how hard you try. Facts. Girl, facts. But I really do feel for her. Honestly, I feel for her. My heart goes out to her. Sorry. But the good news is that Mike is all mine now. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody is in love. You can say oh, that again. Girl, we are strongly behind you. And that's on period. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Thank you for standing by my side. Look, I'm blessed to have you both. Honestly, girls are the ish. Oh. And for the records, mm -hmm. the grand finale for this game show is just around the corner. And we will be going all the way to Dubai for it. Ooh. Wow. Yes. So we are praying and hoping we win the money. Congratulations. These are your traveling documents. <laughs> Only two couples were selected from this country to travel. And you're one of them. Yeah, please. Try and make us proud. Like I assured you, Mr. Dixon, we're fully ready to get this bag. Yeah. Mm. Our bags are fully packed already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be traveling in three days' time. You see, one of the portents of this uh, show, you guys turned out to be low birds. <laughs> I hope you're ready. We are. We definitely are. Our bags are packed. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Take care. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I can't wait, baby. Right? Yeah. Me too. I can't wait to go on that trip with you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew. You <laughs> finally made me proud. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Dixon. It was your effort that brought us here. Mm. Yeah, thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm so happy. I feel like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was embarking on this journey, I was scared. I thought I was making the worst mistake of my life. But now, I'm happy. I feel like I made the biggest and happiest decision ever. And that led me to my beautiful wife and the love of my life. <laughs> so once again, thank you, Mr. Dixon. I, we really appreciate your effort for bringing us together. You're welcome. I'm happy for you both. And I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you, and especially to my girls. <laughs> thank you, girls, for standing by me and encouraging me all through this journey. You guys know it wasn't easy, but thanks to you girls, you made it happen. You thank you. Thanks to you. Come here, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh! Drink, 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 drink. Tonight is celebration, celebration. Just go ahead and enjoy. Yes, we're going, um, we're clubbing tonight, definitely. Baby, you ready to go? Let me go spoil you a little. <laughs>